right, y'all, let's get right into this lit ass video. As you guys can tell by the title, man, what we're gonna be getting into today. Shout out to the T Room for the video we're gonna be reacting to today. Coming to you live. Make sure that you do get this video a like, comment, subscribe, and you hit that bell to be notified when I upload on my channel. DM me lit videos to react to a telephone, a telephone. Today ain't your mama, today Uncle Joe, he's still a mother freaking hoe. Let's get right into the video, man. Let's get it. So as many of you know, there's been a lot of drama surrounding the breakup of Armand and Essie. Fact. Now, just a couple weeks ago, Essie was in the blocks because she pinned a comment on her Instagram that basically... Let me know in the comment section down below. Once again, do you guys really believe Essie when she said that she accidentally pinned the comment instead of blocking the person? Let me know in the comment section down below. Please tell me. Because I still believe she pinned that motherfucking comment. Nobody can tell me different. But anyway. <laughs> he stated Armand left his family for money and fame. Now, if you guys have not checked my video out on that, I will link it at the top here so you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, a couple yeah, days see. ago, Armand did drop his single, Hold It Down, where it did make it to the number one. I'm going to be reacting to that shit. Make sure that you guys stay tuned. Click the notification bell. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention that we hit mother 11,000 subscribers on this freaking channel, man. I've been going hard. I've been grinding on this channel. I seem to always grind on this channel and then fall off. Then grind on this channel and then fall off. Then grind and fall out. Fall off. So, I just want to say thank you guys so much. All of my new Diamond Dynasty members and all of my old ones as well. I love you guys so freaking much. Even the haters. Even the haters. I love y'all too, man, because y'all contribute to the channel with engagement and all of that, man. If you ever clicked on a video, I appreciate you guys so much. I forgot to mention that. So I definitely want to send my gratitude. I'm so grateful for y'all. I say all the time, y'all have changed my life. Yeah, that's all I can say, man. So thank y'all. We're going to keep going up. One spot. Now, yesterday, he was on Twitter saying that he was in love and tweeted mm -hmm. things like, can't nobody tell me this girl don't love me she loved everything about me and i adore her guys it truly feels like regine honestly does adore this nigga bro you could just tell she honestly like she in love she in love y'all and i feel like armand loves to feel loved you know and it just feels good to him and that makes him love Regine even more. This is just what I'm saying based off of what I can see, okay? Of course, we don't know what happens behind the screens, but if I had to take what I have seen between both of them and the tweets and all of this, I would definitely say that both of them are in love with each other, whatever the fuck that means. I don't know what in love is. I guess it's just, you you know, you fall for that person or you're totally open for that person, you know? Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think her for that oh, he also tweeted my daughter get here tomorrow she, she will have, have my undivided, undivided attention, attention. I, I miss, miss my, my baby, baby. Nothing, nothing like, like my daughter love now again he tweeted this on november 2nd so mm -hmm. today is november 3rd which would be the day that she arrives in atlanta now essie has also been on twitter tweeting things like never be afraid to set boundaries she also tweets wonder what i'll do tomorrow that these h words will be mad once again bro i don't know armand but he seems to be like you know a good dude with a good heart and all of that this is a prime example bro esme esmeralda she just wants attention guys wonder what i'll do tomorrow that these hoes will be mad at she loves the attention negative or positive all right you can just tell. Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you guys feel like she likes the attention? Because she did put up, I don't know if it was a tweet or an Instagram story post. And she was like, yeah, the devil ain't going to get me and all this negativity. I don't like the negativity that comes with it. Well, girl, you should stop doing shit. All right. That has you in the blogs for a negative reason. You know, like stop being fucking petty. Let that man move on. Because at this point is given you're jealous is giving bitter baby mama, is giving jealous baby mama vibes, you know? Let that man move on. Let that man move on and be happy. At it. So then a few hours later, she goes onto Instagram and she posts this. Uh-oh. Said he calling from Atlanta, say he missed me. Wait, what? This. Said he calling from Atlanta, say he missed me. Well, 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 well. So now at this 
point, Essie knows how everyone is going to take this. I mean, like I said, she wants attention. She wants attention. Like T Room said, people are gonna speculate. Speculate, like, ooh, are you trying to say Armand said you miss me? I mean, he missed you, or whatever the case may be. I really think that she just loves the attention. So you know, or she could be talking about another nigga. We don't know. But honestly, seeing what Essie has been doing, it does seem like she is just trying to start some more shit, you know? And then she gets mad when people come for her over the shit that she starts. Let me know how y'all feel. This clearly stated, said he's calling from Atlanta, <laughs> saying he missed me. Now, obviously, Armand is in Atlanta. How many exes does Essie actually have in Atlanta? And shit, you never know. And if she does have a lot there, of course, Everyone is going to assume people are gonna think that she implying that that she mm -hmm. is speaking about Armand calling saying that he misses her. I received so many DMs with this saying <laughs> that Essie was being shady, she's being messy. You guys let that ain't nothing new though. Are we surprised, y'all? Let me know what you guys comment down below if you're genuinely surprised because at this point I'm not. Think about it down in the comment section below. Do you guys think this is just a general post? Was she speaking it about could be. her mom? It could be a general post, but at the end of the day as well, I feel like she knew what she was doing. Was she trying to be shady, she messy? Knew what she was doing. Let me know your opinions on this down in the comment section below. Now, I do want to move on to this next topic with CJ So Cool and Tata. Now, you guys remember when they did that sit down video, pretty much speaking over the differences that they've had. Well, CJ on 32s is in town in Vegas. He did a video with CJ So Cool, and CJ was heard in the background calling Tata a dirty B word. Whoa. Oh, yeah, look. Yeah. What Damn, she said that dirty, dirty. A on her Instagram, someone said, "Did you see <laughs> CJ on 32's Damn. video when CJ so cool called you a dirty B for writing your name on That's his tough. hood?" She responds with, "Whoa, send it to me." And then they say, "CJ trash, leave him alone. You too good for him." She says, "I expect nothing less from a." Ba he is a man job. That. Then she says, I don't even want to do the questions that just blew me by. Now, if you guys remember, mm. about a month tough. or so ago, I spoke on the That's fact tough. that CJ on 32s has a baby by one of Tata's former friends. Yeah. Well, at the time, CJ had blocked her. He stated that he didn't want to meet their child. Mm -hmm. Well, he is in Vegas, and it seems like he is with her because she went live on Instagram trying to hide the fact that he was there. Although we could see him in the mirror above her bed. Oh my and God. She had his chain on. So, da -da 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 -da. Inspector Gadget. Obviously, he <laughs> with her. <laughs> go, Gadget, go. Now, let's be honest, bro. You know damn well. She know damn well. She did that shit on purpose, bro. Conveniently, you just put your phone on the ground and you know there's a mirror right there. <laughs> or you put your phone wherever she put it. I don't know, but you know niggas can see what they seeing right now. It's Come on. Like, now. The tear and everything. <laughs> oh, yes. We're going to be on there. Hi. <laughs> you with CJ? Someone go comment. CJ getting him. She was getting some hair. Getting, getting some hair. Hey, Ling. Hey, Is that guys. it? That might be it. Yeah, that's it. Hey, man. Let me know how y'all feel. All right, in the comment section down below. I think we all know that CJ so cool is a man child, all right? Um, no disrespect, it just is what it is from what I can see. Let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below and make sure that you do give this video a like, comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that bell to be notified when I upload on my channel. DM me lit videos to react to a tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell the angel mama to tell the uncle Joey still the host. See you guys in the next motherfucking video. I love y'all, man. Peace. Be out, baby.